Yo, what's up guys? Good morning. Um, it's Saturday, February 26th, 2022. And um, I figured I'd go over my trade on CYRN from Friday, yesterday. Um, so yeah, so as you guys can see here, this was basically my, my trade. Um, ended up going, you know, better than I expected it, but I could have done some things a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> so just, I guess I want to start off by going over my pre-market plan on why I traded CYRN, CYRN, um, so here we have basically the chart from, so this was yesterday, or no, Thursday. Thursday went from $2, ran up all the way to 660s, rejected, found support at 450, and then pre-market, basically they ran it back up over that level got it all the way up to 862 and then you had this you know broken down pre-market chart right here so first thing I did was you know start identifying my my key levels to look for um, so basically the first ones I noticed or thought were significant um was you know this first inner resistance level right here near the 670 670 area right there and then from 670 i figured seven dollars would be a key another key level but Actually, I was looking at more like 750 just because it's on a half dollar level, but not too close um, to 670. And then basically $8 because it's a whole dollar level. And then you got your pre market high at 860. Um, and then this previous. You know, right here, the 625 seemed to be, or 630, seemed to be kind of critical because it was part of the top over here. And then you got some support at the 6, basically. And then you have this 550 lows and then this 520 lows. So at that point, you could kind of see, you know, oh, and then you have 450 from previous day but um but I wasn't really expecting it to get all the way down to 450 only because that would have been a pretty big downside move although it can it could have done that um but basically my plan after seeing all these levels I figured and then you know they're walking it down pre-market right before the open I figured um uh, I I wanted to start shorting into this 670 level and then look for a move into 750s maybe eight if it got there if it had enough gas volume um so basically now we can break it down right out the open i had my orders basically just sitting at 670 had some at seven and then 750 in case it got up there. Um, but right out the open, you know, we we're right at 540 lows. So it's kind of like, all right, maybe I could have started another, you know, feeler right here, somewhere near that 590 area. But at the same time, I just kind of wanted to be patient on this one 
because I knew it had more room to go up than for it to just fail out the open and then go all the way down to 450, which it could have. Um, but you kind of see here by looking at the price action. First, you got this, you know, first you got that first rejection at 630s, 628. Boom, right into the trend. Then you got that next break over that high a day. And then it hit 660s. Right here, when it hit 660s, I was like, all right, my 670 order is going to hit. But, and then you got this big rejection candle again. And at that point, I was already like, oh man, like, it's it's gonna it's gonna fail from here and and I'm not gonna be able to get involved because it didn't get to my first level that I was waiting for it to get to but for some reason it kind of just like it kind of held here and it, it didn't go lower so at this point I was like you know what let me just wait I'm gonna leave my order there just in case it hits it so once it got to the 670 Boom, my first order hit right there, as you can see, right? See, that was my first, my first feeler starter order hit. So once that first feeler starter order hit, you see I put this line at the 650, only because, you know, half dollar level. Um, so now let's, you know, let me move this to 650 and then 650 I had another line I moved some of these lines down only because then that became like the range at the open that it was trading around um, So then I just basically started using those levels as the next key key areas to either enter and add, continue adding, um, and wait for pops until we get that failure move back down. Um, so so yeah, so once you know, once I started. Once this one failed, and then I was waiting for it to hit seven, but I noticed it started failing 650, and then it broke back down. I was like, all right, I'm gonna throw another one at 650, but I'm gonna have orders ready in case it does get to seven. But then that failed, and then you started seeing like all this weakness here. So then I figured, all right, you know what? Let me just, let me add into these pops into 650, in case we get some type of retest and then I ended up feeling filling some orders right here on this pop into the 650 here and basically as that rejected I added more into this this area here which I should have actually let those orders hit 660 670 that way I had more orders up top um, but at this point you know we get this Huge rejection here, reclaims, rejects the hard right there again. And at this point, it's kind of like, all right, either this thing's gonna grind its way all the way over this 694, and then they slam it back down, or they grind it, but then it fails to hold 650 again. You can see the support right here, support right there. And and then they break that 650 and also at the same time you have a you have a trend you have like a smaller trend line for me here so you can see right here like check it out check it out so from these lows i had this trend line drawn at this point already but then i just moved it um so once I saw this, you know, I had already entered all my size over here, but at this point I, I was just going to risk this high a day. As you can see here, see, so I, I ended up adding into that failure 
added at, on these pops just in case 650 failed. Um, and then right here, I was already like, you know, I was like ready to basically cut my losses if it got over that high. Um, but then once I saw that rejection here at six or that failure at 650 and then this trend line, see this trend line forming once this broke that already that was already like you know i felt like somewhat relieved because at that point it's just it was just gonna start to break down so as it broke down i was already basically ready to start covering and taking profits from six down to 550 if it got there because i was thinking maybe we would hit that low day over here near 540s um so yeah i ended up taking some profits from here took about half of my size off and then and then i was thinking all right this thing's gonna you know try to make little higher lows pop back maybe into that 625 area but 620s also seem kind of you know so i ended up adding more whatever i took back off here I added like an extra 20% back on just in case we saw 650. Um, so I added more here. And then once that started to fail, I basically ended up putting my the rest of my cover orders um, right at the 580s or no, 590s. So 590 all the way down to 544, 545. So in this area. So and that's why you can see, you can see right here how basically I just left all my orders out there. I wasn't even at my computer. I was literally driving to the office and 590s, 580, 585, 575, 570, 565, 560, 550, 555, 540s, uh, or 545 was my last one. And I had a lot, my last order was basically at 540, but at this point I had just manually taken the rest off right there at 550. Um, because that was already more than, you know, at this point my whole position was up more than 10% and, you know, I just didn't want to be greedy. So it's like, I'm just going to take it all off here. I'm fine with, with where my targets hit and, um. <clears throat> and then ended up fading down to like five, you know, towards towards the end of the day. So that's kind of cool to see, you know, or yeah, five. Yeah, see. So right after that, it it did hit low a day. See this line right here. So that's low a day. Literally, that's right where it came back to, and even lower, all the way to five. Um, so it's just, you know, just kind of goes to show like, this is, this is just one of those setups where it has, it has enough range for you to take advantage of the move. It will go up, but then as it starts showing failure and rejection at certain resistance levels, it's like build, build that position up top scale into it as it shows weakness and on the pops and just wait and hold but know where your risk is at in case it does continue going up and look looking for trend lines you know trend line breaks support levels to break and then just waiting for your targets to hit um and basically that that's what this was i mean so you know, for a move from 694 all the way to 502, that's like a, what is that? Let's do the math real quick. Based off of back testing, uh, back testing that I've previously done. So you got 694 or you got 502. 
divided by minus divided by six nine four so that gave us basically a twenty seven percent move from high a day to low a day that was basically your drawdown so from here all the way down to here gives us a 27 percent move to the downside from the high a day so basically using that knowledge you can start to scale into resistance areas where you think or assume it's probably gonna either you know fail or show signs of weakness scale into those areas and then look to scale back out as it makes this move to the downside the rest of the day once buyers leave and all shorts you know are basically either blown out if they shorted started shorting at the 550s 560s 570s and basically got exhausted on the way up and you know also left and then volume starts dying so you get these you get these nice moves with range that will prof that will provide for a decent trade opportunity um but yeah i mean that was pretty much that was pretty much you know my entire trade on cyrn um you know these these are the kind of setups that i that, I'm, that i look for every single day and i mean if if these were pre to present this house every single day i would take these every single day um but yeah, I still, you know, I still think I can, you know, I still got some things that I can improve on. Maybe that, that pop, I could have added more. Um, I kind of added more into these pops so I could get, you know, a bigger, a better average. But, um, but overall, um, I'm kind of glad with this one. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions, comment down below, hit me up in my discord. I'll post the link in the description below in case you want to join. It's free. Um, and uh, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to your channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.